are what you consume. And I've been writing a lot and I've been watching a lot of videos to you know, set that, to make examples on what I'm going to say. And I've written down a lot. Now, what you set in your mind is your reality. Your perception on what you think is what you are going to create in your reality. And what I mean by this is, it can be said with religion, for example. We see things, so we know things. Um, and that's not the case, you know? And mentally, for me at least, you know? It, it can be seen differently from other people. For an example, uh, a couple of days ago, or I think it was about yesterday or two days ago, uh, I was met outside with two missionary men. And of course, I'm an open-minded person to be able to hear those, you know, certain outlooks on life. And I think they started with the statement, I know, you know, they don't know because it's not something that's a factual statement, but they have that ideology in their brain that it's something that they know, you know, and that determines how they, you know, view life. And meaning this, what I'm trying to translate to is you get to choose what you know. And when you realize that, you're able to fluctuate perfectly honestly in society. You're able to do what you want with what you think, like with what you see fit. And, <clears throat> and to further do that, honestly, you just have to, you have to be able to experience these things for yourself. You have to realize that reality isn't a physical labor thing. It's something that, that's deep rooted inside of your brain. Because what you do, you know, mentally is what projects to your, you know, physical, like, sure, you know, working, stuff like that. Most people think working hard equals, you know, physical stuff, and it's not like that. It's like, it's a mental thing. What you translate to your life is what you're going to do. And I don't mean being rich is what, you know, it's all a mentality. Obviously, it's a mentality thing, but, like, being rich does not mean, you know, a billion dollars. It means being rich inside of your mind, being able to understand yourself and do what you want to do with your life. And a lot of people think that, if I work hard on something, then I'm going to get that mental clarity. Now, sure, that could be the case sometimes, but most people, when they realize that they're working towards something, you know, they still feel the same, you know, they still feel the same emotions, they still feel the same thing, and that's because you're not supposed to start physically. It's a mental game, and it's something that you need to establish in your brain to say, I know, I know I'm gonna do this, I know I'm gonna do that, and I know I'm this. It's something that starts there, and then you can fluctuate that throughout your everyday life. And I've done that too. I think uh, a lot of the times I set goals, I've set them to be physical labor jobs. You know what I mean? I've worked six months for you know a car, something of that nature. Now, what I mean by this is, it starts within your brain. I know I'm going to get this car and I know I'm going to do this and I know I'm going to do that. Meaning whenever physical, you know, reality set in, you're able to just brush it off because you know, you know, deep down, you know, that certain area, it's a lock in goal. It's something that no matter what is set in stone, you know, by reality or other people, it's something that you are deep rooted in to your mind and your mindset. And it's a cause and effect of sorts. It's a, uh, your mental state affects your physical and being mentally unfit changes that projection on you. Uh, what I mean by this is, another example is you will be rich before you're rich. I've seen it in a video. Uh, it sounds stupid, it sounds like an example but you need to be rich here before you can be rich here you understand what I mean it's something that you need to understand deep rooted in your mentality we're able to change this I was never ever able to talk to people like this until I made it sure in my mind that I'm able to communicate and fluctuate what I want to say and you make the rules and all according to you it's, it's all of according to you and I could sound you know intellectually sound or I could sound very fucking stupid to you. It all depends on how you feel. It does not matter about whatever the fuck I feel. Now, 
Now saying that, I don't give a fuck what other people think, you know what I mean? It's because I'm so mentally able to understand myself and what's around me that it doesn't matter what other people think, you know? It's something deep rooted in your, in your, in your brain. And your brain is always right in your sense of reality. It's, do you think you can do it? And then you're right, you know? And it's like, I can't do this. Then you're right, you know? It, it's all in your subconscious. It's, able to, it's, it's something that you have to determine for yourself because you know what you can do deep down. And whether you choose that you believe that you can't or you can't is what changes it all. And it's something that you have to fix for yourself. Um, now this is going to be a hard thing to do. I honestly, it, it took me 17 years. You know what I mean? It takes, it takes a while to understand yourself and it's not something that's going to be right away. It's not going to be some, now it could be sure, you know, but most of the time it's not going to be something that, that's just a snap and like, Oh, I've awakened. It's not, you know, a sense of like a Buddha, for example, you don't get awakening. You're not going to, you know, reach Nirvana and such of that nature but and i've seen this a lot with religion too like a lot of the people that i've seen in um their life they're, they're honestly happy you know what i mean like with religion at least um now that can't always be the case sometimes you know sometimes there's people that you know hide things which is a lot of people but you set your truth and what you deem is your truth is what your reality is and how to change that it's it's just through repetition you know repetition through your mind it's being able to compute your brain and rewire it to understand what you want you create your like subconscious it's it's something that, that you've been born with and it's something that's you know i like to think of it as you know as our subconscious fought for our you know way of life being able to live you know what i mean it's it sounds stupid it could be luck obviously but if you like to see it this way it's something that can help you understand yourself i feel like but the the example I'm giving is um we fought for our race to for survival, you know? We were sperm cells and we had uh no legs, no anything. We just swam into the ovaries and the and the egg and that could be seen as the reason you chose to live, you know what I mean? You chose that for a reason. And it is us. It 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 was us, you know what I mean? It's not like we had, you know, a consciousness yet, but there was a reason for what you did and you are in this life for a reason and you have to determine that for yourself what your reason is your reality and once you do that honestly it doesn't matter the physical money it doesn't matter what everything else is doing you know it doesn't matter because it's you you are set on what you want with your life and you can go accordingly to that and a lot of the times you know there is sometimes that there's times where I don't like things, you know, the negative outlooks on life, and it's just being able to mentally change that, being able to say, okay, I see the positive in that, and I've been writing, you know, it's certain stuff, it probably looks terrible writing for you guys, I'm sorry that I have bad handwriting, or I guess other people would think that, I, I write cursive somewhat, so, and I'm able to read what I want, so, but life is you know, living on earth, that's, it's beautiful for me, you know, and I've truly, uh, been able to grasp that, and for an example, being grateful for people that walk out of your life, you know what I mean, it's, it's their own personal choice, and you have to understand that they're making their choices for themselves just as you are, and once you do that, you're able to fully fully truthfully be okay with people walking out being okay with what happens because you are so content with your mind and your and your ability to you know progress in your life and what you want and i think that's all um i want to talk about now but it it, it drives deeper conversations and it's it's a beautiful thing and i want to talk to people more you know say something in the comments talk to me you know uh i'm not you know perfect but mentality wise I feel like I am you know what I mean it's something that that evolves you as a person and it could sound selfish it could sound you know terrible but if you just truly realize it for yourself I think you'll be able to you know live properly and live a sound life thank you